We're given the integral from zero to C of h of x dx is equal to one over two a, where h of x is even. We want to find the integral from negative C to C of h of x dx. Well, first note, because this is even, we can rewrite it as twice the integral from zero to C h of x dx. Now the integral from zero to C is one half times a. The twos are gonna cancel and we're just left with a. The next question, we have the integral from a plus two to b plus two f of x minus two dx. We know that the integral from a to b of f of x dx is 14. And so we wanna use this to solve the integral. Well, in order to solve the integral, we have to do a u substitution. We're gonna let u equal x minus two. So that means du is equal to dx. So I'm gonna substitute x minus two with u, dx with du. Now these limits here are in terms of x. So x is equal to a plus two. So if I plug that in here, u will be a plus two minus two, which is a. Similarly, if I plug in b plus two for x, I'm gonna get b. And so the integral from a to b of f of u du is the same thing as the integral from a to b of f of x dx, which is 14. Okay, next question, we have the integral from zero to c minus a of g of x plus a dx. We know that the integral from a to c g of x dx is 13, or is 31 rather. So this one, we're going to make a substitution again and let u equal whatever's inside the parentheses. So du will be just dx. Now x plus a becomes u, and then dx is du. So x is c minus a, so plug that in here, and we get c. And then when x is zero, we get u equals zero plus a, which is a. So this just transforms into the integral from a to c, gu du, which is exactly what we have over here. And that's gonna be 31. Finally, we have the integral from a to c twice g of x times f of x dx. And well, in order to solve this, we have to first factor out a two and we have to use what's called integration by parts. So we'll let u equal g of x, du will be g prime of x dx, dv will be f of x dx, and the antiderivative will be, let's say, capital F of x. Okay. So then we'll have twice uv, which is g of x times capital F of x, minus integral v du, so that will be g prime of x times capital F of x dx. And this integral will go from a to c, and then this one we would have to evaluate from a to c. But as you can see, this requires the antiderivative of f. And then we have to integrate this thing right here. Now, what we're given is the integral from a to b of f of x is 14. Integral from a to c of g of x is 31 and the integral from b to a of g of x is equal to 6 and then 
integral from b to c f of x is 3. So the question is, how are these going to help us solve it? And I have no idea what the antiderivative of f is, just based off this. You know, the only thing I can say, really, using the first one, or this, this one, well, let's use this one, or actually, no, regardless, none of these help. Um, you know, let's say you use the first one, it's f of b minus f of a is 14. The second one is f of c minus f of b is three, you know, you can add these and get that f of c minus f of a is 17. But here, I mean, if you were to integrate it, I mean, if you were to plug it in, you have g of c times f of c minus g of a times f of a. And it's pretty obvious that, yeah, you can't solve this. So this one, based off what we're given has no solution 